Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. Today we're going to talk about Landscape Painter of the Year, Season 8, Episode 6. This takes place on the shores of Strangforth Loch, County Down in Ireland. And if you're a fan of, fan of games of Game of Thrones, then you will recognize this destination. I have never seen Game of Thrones. I'm probably the only person on the planet who hasn't, uh, but that's the way it is. But if you've seen it, then you will recognize this. Now, the one thing that I want to talk about here before we watch and see the contestants, uh, I want to say this has been a very puzzling year. 2023 is a very, very puzzling year for this series uh, because they didn't put them in typical landscape settings. They do in this particular episode, but for the most part, they haven't. They plunk them down in front of industrial buildings or arenas or frankly, places with nothing going on but wandering people or horses. It, it, it's, it's been a disorganized season to me. I also think the painters have been weak. So I think they've had weak subjects and weak participants. And I was thinking about this and I thought, this happens to me sometimes when I'm watching a TV series or a movie. I'll think to myself, is this bad? In other words, is the writing bad? Or is the acting bad? Or is it both? And that's kind of what I'm wondering here. Maybe the setting is bad, the participants are poor, and therefore the whole program just kind of suffers from it. I don't know. I ask myself that question all the time when I'm watching a television program when it starts to really bore me. And I think, I think these actors are pretty good, but gosh, what they're being forced to say probably is not enhancing their performance. So I think it's a kind of a combination of both things. And I do think this year has suffered. But now we're gonna go ahead and look at the participants and you can decide which one you think should have won. This time I actually think I agree with the judges. All right, let's get started. This is the view that the contestants had to work with. There was no sunlight and um, no distinguishing features really. Here's the final piece from contestant number one. She also added some sort of composite to the paper so it was 3D. It's quite dark, moody, um, but there is a sense of place. I will give her that. And I don't really have anything else to say about it. You know, overall, I find this just pretty monochromatic and a bit weak when it comes to composition. Here's the next one. I really enjoy this one because of the play in the water more than anything else. And the, there's a lot of bright, fresh color going on here. I enjoy that. And so um, this was contestant number two, working in a vertical format. I don't know where that particular castle piece is. I couldn't get that from any screenshots from the program. So I don't know, even though all the contestants are lined up looking at the same view, I don't know Maybe he had, maybe he had binoculars. <laughs> Could be, I don't know. This one is, um, I said there were gonna be spoilers. The spoiler is that this is the person who wins this, wins this heat. I do like this one. There's, um, and what I like in particular are, can you see those hits of turquoise going on in there? That's what I call a color value swap out. That color turquoise was not in the picture at all. But if you imagine taking that turquoise away, if it doesn't, if those spots really excite the eye. The other thing this person did was they put in spots of orange. Again, color spots of value that enhance the overall color in the picture. Otherwise, it would just be a sea of green. Here's the next contestant. Uh, she did a really good job with the water, I have to say. Um, but something about this feels very, very static. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the um, how evenly spaced those trees are compared to the castle. There's something that looks quite regimented and just not, not natural. Uh, but what do I know? I wasn't there and I haven't tried. I may try a piece today and see if I can come up with something. But the screenshot I could get from the program was really, really poor and um, quite fuzzy. It's hard to paint from fuzzy. This is a charcoal painter, I believe. And so we have a monochromatic view. I um, really don't have much to say about this one either. Here is one that takes advantage of just the quietness. You get a sense of, of space and a sense of place here, which I like, although this could have been any place. It's not distinguished in, distinguishing in any way to the place that they were set up in front of. Um, 
I do like the, um, I, I, what I, what I want to say is that they decided, was it going to be about the sea? Was it going to be about the sky? And they made it about two thirds about the sky. And I appreciate that. I always think you have to make a decision in the landscape about whether you're going to emphasize the land or the sky. Kind of if you cut it in half, both, it doesn't work. This is a detail from the next contestant coming up. She uses pen and ink and these very vertical lines. But I wanted you to see it up close because when you see the final entry, it virtually disappears. Um, and she, I'm sure if she had plenty more time, she would have done something uh, a lot more uh, interesting for our eyes. There's something very, um, I want to say, um, old, old, not contemporary feeling about this one. But, um, but her draft skills, uh, her draftsmanship skills are very good. Wow, my mouth is just not opening up and speaking today. Now, here comes the last contestant. I'm going to say, remember to keep the white your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel. And this is the last contestant who probably had the closest rendering of what the scene actually looked like, although I could never get a sight of that building at all. But I do not enjoy the composition of this. There's nothing anchored in. My eye travels all around. So that takes care of this episode. We're going on to the next episode, although 2023 is disappointing. So I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.